Um, so the job today, Ted is off helping one of our neighbours, Oriane, um, teaching her how to do some plumbing. Not that Ted's an expert, but um, he's teaching her what he knows now. Um, and my job is to try and get as much of the mortar off these walls. Now we're going to, this wall is going to stay a stone wall. So is the back wall that you can't see at the moment, but the side walls are actually going to be plasterboarded because we're going to hide all the pipework behind it. Um, but we're going to keep the middle sections as stone walls. So I've got to get all of the old lime water clay off. I think most of it's clay, to be honest with you. These, these walls are so old. Remember, this section is the 12th century side, so the oldest part of the whole estate. Um, so get get it off and then try and get it lime watered. Not today, obviously, I won't have time for that. But, um, but anyway, first job today, SDS drill. Let's get it done. I'm gonna set up a light in here. Yeah. Because you can run it in here. And it's just, I need to get it out of the barn next door. Um, I'll put a mixer in here for you. Yeah? Yep. Well, we, was, we, we didn't really mention these walls. Well, I was gonna board them because they're external. Yeah. But I don't, I, we can't board this because, you know, you have a door frame like that. So this is, this is gonna to have to be. So we do we board up to here and then, you know, do something on this corner, scribe in the board and then you mortar up to there. Well, I know you've got um, Or do we just mortar this wall? Well, I think, yeah, I'm wondering if it's just a sensible thing to do and we just live with the fact that it's probably And just have that whole wall with plasterboard? Yeah. So a lot of people ask me, what is the process that I'm doing with this SDS? It's a bit like going to the dentist when you go and have a hygiene, um, um, what do you call it? I don't know, check up with the dentist. And they clean all your teeth with that little, it's not a drill, but it vibrates and takes all the plaque off. That's exactly what this is doing. It's just cleaning out all of the edges around the stone so that I've got enough space to be able to put new mortar in it. That's all it's doing. One more finished, a lot more to do. Okay, so now the wall is all raked out, it's time for me to start mortaring this wall. And I thought while I did it, and while you watched me work, I'd answer a few comments. Now, as you know, I do like to be quite blunt and honest. We've always been very honest about this project with you. So there might be a few responses to comments that you don't like, sorry, anyway. Better get on with the work. I do apologise about the cement mixer going on in the background, but I have to keep it going because it's got me muck in it. So you're just going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Let's get our stuff up here and get going. Now, the worst thing is, is with working up on the scaffolding, is trying to get your cement up and down. Obviously, this is lime-based, three parts sand to one part lime. Now anybody that knows me knows that I don't like heights. 
So being up here is not very good for me. So I'm going to try and get this top part done as quickly as I can. Okay, so now I've done the top bit, the scary bit, um, I can start talking to you. <laughs> I couldn't talk to you while I was in the top bit. I absolutely hate heights. And there's a big drop down here. And because the scaffolding doesn't go right against the wall, it's a little bit scary. So um, I've done the top bit. I'm really pleased I've got that done because that's something I was really worried about, getting the top part done. Um, but, uh, but it's done. So I can now carry on with the rest of the wall. Anyway, on to a response to some comments. Um, firstly, I would really like to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Um, we're now up to just over 9,000 subscribers. It'd be great to get to the 10,000 mark. And we talk about why we think that we don't have that many subscribers compared to other channels in a little while. It will all become clear, but um, Thank you all so much, because you, I know we say this all the time, but you really do keep us going. We have some amazing comments from people, people that send us letters and emails telling us how much we've inspired them to do projects themselves, move abroad, or even just move in their own country and just do something very different with their lives that they, they wouldn't normally do, which is what this whole channel was all about inspiring people letting people know that you know if two numpties from Essex can do it you can do it too um, take yourself out of your comfort zone and just try something different and I think Covid's done that for a lot of people actually I think Covid has um, made people look at their creativity um, change their lives completely so in a way my mother always used to say where there's a downside there's always an upside something good always comes out of it and I think that has um, in most parts. So, yeah, let's start some work and let's start some comments. So our first comment I would like to address is from a gentleman who very recently said to us, if we can't take the criticism, don't bother doing the channel, the YouTube channel. Um, he obviously doesn't like the fact that I do respond very honestly to all of their comments and their criticisms. Now, my response to that would be, it's not that we can't take the criticism, but what gives you the right to think you can criticise? I don't come into your home and tell you what I think about your new fitted kitchen or the colour of your curtains or your carpets or your floorboards. So what makes you think you have the right to tell us? Now, that may seem a little bit tough on you, but it's the truth. We don't come into your home and criticise and we don't expect you to come into ours. We love it when people give us advice, when they've done this sort of work before, um, or give us some ideas, some creative ideas, constructive feedback. Not criticism, constructive feedback. Now a lot of people, when I do videos like this, turn around and say, oh, don't let them get to you. Please. Don't think we do, because we definitely don't. I just like to put them in their place. Now, another very good point to make is about finances. And we have always been extremely honest about our finances. When we came here, we had £80,000 budget. And we knew that that would take us through the first phase of renovations. And it would have done if we didn't have the wall that had fallen down and the roof that was caving in. However, we still got three apartments done, the boot room done, the summer kitchen done, the inside restaurant, the tea room done, the hallways. The... And the only thing that we wasn't able to get done on the first phase was apartment four at the back of the house. So that's obviously why we started doing some fundraising. Now, some people say, why should we fund your dream? 
charity starts at home. Why should we fund your dream? We're not asking you to fund our dream. We're living in a tent. We're peeing in a bucket. Do you really think that's their dream? No. No, it's not. And you're not paying for that. You're not paying to see us piddle in a bucket. What we ask, and a comment recently was stop begging for money. I don't think we have ever begged for money. Never. What we do do is at the end of each video is tell you what fundraising options there are if you want to get involved in this project and thank the people that have. Now that's the least we can do is thank the people that do believe in us and believe in this project. What we're asking you to fundraise is the restoration, the um, preservation of a historical monument. Now we don't get a penny out of this. We work day and night and we don't take a penny out of it. Every penny that is raised from this place goes back into the renovation. So, if you think you are funding their dream, you are very, very wrong. What we do is just let people know the options, that if they want to be involved in preserving this piece of 700-year-old French history, you can, and you can support us in doing that. Now, their subscribers, they do that anyway. Their watchers do that anyway with the ads, watching the ads, and just give us the encouragement. But those that can afford it then go on to either be a patron, buy a roof tile for the, for the new roof, for the medieval banqueting hall, things like that. All of that money goes into the renovation. That is why myself and Ted moved out of the chateau and back into the tent, so that every penny we could make from the business side of this venture could go back in. Where are you? Hello. My darling wife, oh. up a scaffold tower. <laughs> I tell you, it's a bit, a bit airy standing on it. Great gun. <laughs> she's only read out this about an hour. Look at his, the work she's done. It's going away, isn't it? Fantastic, you will. I thought you'd like a cup of tea, my darling. Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh no, there she is. What? There's little best boom. I thought she'd gone west. Yeah, I thought she, she had back. earlier. But, uh, yeah, I thought you'd do five minutes. Yeah. For a cup of tea. Yeah, let me finish this bucket and then uh, oh, you put the kettle on and I'll. I've, oh, I've only... it's oh, is it? Oh, here. brilliant. Well, I've only got this tiny bit left. So. Yeah. Time for a cup of tea break. My lovely husband's bought me a cup of tea. Day 75,426. And um, somebody's up the scaffold tower. There she is. Look, baby. in her happy place. <laughs> and she is rushing back after doing all of this wall. What do you think? In one day, um, well, they always look good, you know. They they just take ages to dry out, don't they? But well, I think they're fine. I think it'd, it'd be it'd be lovely. Um, but this is is looking really good already. It will absolutely dry this wall out yeah. because it will, you know, it's now it's now. Uh, fully restored effectively and I think the idea is to do this wall as well and again this is an outside wall but to board it um, it's just going to make it too deep in the recesses and everything so we'll just board that out we may well do something up the top here just to box that all in 
I've got to do something in these gaps so things don't nest in the roof. But you're happy up there, aren't you? At the moment, it's all about the walls. It's all about the walls. Um, and this the most annoying thing in the world, and I know it's annoyed Lisa more than anything, is that, look, look at that tiny little bit in the corner. Is that's where she ran out about six o'clock last night. And, of course, it's a bit dark, so she wasn't going to mix anything else up. We also had the our friend John here. So that oh, was a different, yeah. It's a different so that's thing. another comment, baby, that we need to address, is the fact that somebody said, surely you have enough money now from what Channel 4 is paying you. Yeah, so the, yeah, it must doing have this. been a joke, but um, yeah. yeah, Channel 4 pays us zero. So is the the, the production nothing. company, we need we get absolutely 100% of nothing <laughs> from either the production company or Channel 4. But what we do get is advertising. Yeah, and that is... That and is, that's why we're doing it. Yeah, so this is what we're doing it. We're not doing it for any other reason, you know, other reason apart from the fact, you know, like Lisa says, it's all about the advertising and it's, that's it. That's, that's all you get. It is, a, you know, it can be an inconvenience, you know, it's more of a hindrance than a help at the moment, but obviously when the program goes out, that makes a difference to us. And we have had some lovely people, met some lovely people through it. However, we get... Zip, zilch, zero, <laughs> any of the Zs, nothing, nada, nil, any of the ends. End of the day, premature end of the day, maybe because we're due out. We're going to film night. Film, film club. club. Um, yeah. I've just run out of mix just to do the tiny bit at the top of the back, but uh, I finished all the big wall, got most of that wall done. Not too bad. Not and too then, bad. you know, you've got to mix up anyway because you've got to do this, but then yeah. you can't come in here because I'm doing things. I'm doing it. I'm doing things. things in my bedroom. You do things in your bedroom. Yeah, probably don't. Want to know. Okay, so I'm still on to be wall mortaring. I'm now onto this wall. There are an awful lot of walls in this place to water. A lot of stone. But one thing, it looks absolutely amazing when it's finished. And secondly, it's a very cheap way to do it. If we were to cover these walls in plasterboard, it would cost us an absolute fortune. So, um, so yeah, this is a cheap way of doing it. It's very authentic. It's the way it would have been years ago. Um, and, um, and we'd like to keep it that way. So it's doing us a favour. We don't have to spend any money, but it's also keeping the building um, the way it should be. We get so many absolutely amazing comments from people, so many. Oh. People who love what we're doing, who've subscribed since the beginning, have followed their journey and, and been part of this story with us. 
and we love that. We, st we still literally read every single comment. We don't get the chance to be able to respond to them all, which is a real shame because um, I'd love to, and we did in the beginning, but we get so many comments now that we just don't have that time. So we do apologise for that, but we do read all your comments and we can't thank you enough for your support, your encouragement. It's really, it does really keep us going. I know we say that time and time again, but it does keep us going, you guys. Um, but then there's always some people that like to spoil it for the rest. Let me just get some warm water and I'll enlighten you. Okay, so this next comment, most recent comment from Jessica, absolutely infuriated me. And, um, and that's why I think I really have to address it because I don't think people really understand um, how much work and effort goes into doing these videos. Um, yes, we are monetized. We get a couple of hundred euros a month out of doing these videos. However, it takes us a lot of time and effort and um, and does encroach on the work we're doing. But we do it because we want you to be part of this with us. We want you to follow us on this journey and we want to be able to document it so years later we can look back on it and hundreds and thousands of other people can look back on it. So when we get comments from people like Jessica asking why we don't have as many subscribers or a subscriber count hasn't gone up like the other channels, I'll tell you why. I think that is. And I think that's because we don't pretend. There's no pretense here. You get what you see. You get me and Ted. Um, as Ted puts it, a couple of Muppets from Essex trying to restore a historical monument with no experience and no money. And there's a lot of people out there that just really want fantasy. They want the pretense. They don't want the reality. And, um, and that's why they don't follow us. And that's, that's their choice. There are the rare breed of you guys, you subscribers, that do like to see the reality and, and what really happens when you're doing this type of work. Me and Ted always said we would never pretend anything, we would never reenact anything. You get what you see and that's why we try to do a weekly or every two weekly vlogs so that you can see the actual real time as to how long it takes things to happen around here. Um, so Jessica's next comment was, how I disgust her. Yes, I disgust her. That's a strong word, Jessica. So I disgust Jessica by calling my husband baby and she feels that we should keep her terms of endearment within the bedroom. Well, this is reality and I don't just call my husband baby in the bedroom. I call him it all the time. I'm not gonna stop that. Like I said, there is no pretense. I'm not gonna change who I am for you, Jessica. And, um, I'm absolutely disgusted that you feel you have the right to tell me to do that. Not ask me, but tell me to do that. Now, myself and Ted have always been very open about our relationship, we've always been very loving with each other and, um, and, that, and that's what we're like, that's what we are. Not just in the bedroom, but all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him what we do in the bedroom, no, baby. Fine, <laughs> I'm going to keep that out of this. <laughs> Ted's in the background listening. Anyway, um, I feel it quite sad actually that you should make a comment like that because it shows that you do not have that sort of relationship or are unable to actually show your feelings openly in that way. And that, that's very sad. I wish everybody could do it, but um, I, I understand they can't. Um, not everybody can do that, but we do. So if you want to follow this journey, then you follow me and Ted, and that is who we are. If you don't like that, don't comment on it. Just go somewhere else because you're not welcome here. This channel has always been about uplifting circumstances um, during a time of pandemic when we started, how people can change their lives, how you don't need money, you don't need a lot of experience to be able to do something like this or just be able to do something different. And, um, and that's the way we want to keep it. So um, any negative comments, out the door, please. Um, forwarding on from that, there's been some other comments. 
And as you know, um, a few months before Christmas, if you follow our channel, you'll know that our GoPro broke and we were struggling with being able to do filming and we had to do a lot of filming on our telephones, which are also broken, <laughs> cracks in them and not very good. Um, and we did tell people that, but we still got quite a few comments about the audio and um, not being able to hear it and things like that. So after so long of you guys telling us about the audio, we decided to bite the bullet. And as much as we have no money left now, and we, we, I think we're kind of wishing now a few weeks down the line that we hadn't done this and um, had not listened to some people's complaints. Um, we actually spent the money and brought a new GoPro and brought microphones. What it meant was, I don't know if you remember when we first started doing the roof of the piggeries that we mentioned we were going to have three V-luxes in the roof. We don't have those V-luxes because there's always a consequence to buying something that you don't necessarily need for the project. And, um, and obviously we didn't necessarily need microphones and um, a new camera for the project. But we decided to go out and buy one so that we would stop having the complaints um, about the audio. So I really hope that it is worth it because it means that we have no natural light now in our piggeries. We will put the Veluxes in at some stage in our time, but they are obviously quite expensive and we can't afford them at the moment. So they will have to go in at later date next year sometime probably, won't they baby? Yeah. But um, yes, so hopefully you can let us know that whether the, uh, the audio is better than it used to be. We are still learning how to use these microphones and there are some footage within this vlog where actually I forgot to turn the microphone on so there is no audio at all. But uh, we'll get there in the end. I would just like to reiterate what my wife is saying. I'm going to speak down here because it's where the microphone is <laughs> and it's kind of nice getting close to my baby. Um, yeah, I'd just like to reiterate what she said. Um, I, I think we have a fabulous subscribership. I really do. And the majority. And it's just silly comments from silly people. Yeah, we do things wrong. We admit it. We hold up our hands and say... I'm really sorry we did that wrong or you know we've got that wrong and there's plenty of things we get wrong but we love to learn and hopefully it teaches people out there not to do the things that we do <laughs> and do them right um, and just silly silly comments worthless you know utterings from people I, I don't really care about. I'm sorry, I just don't really care about you. Thanks ever so much for taking the time to comment, but if you can't say anything nice, don't say nothing at, at all. all. Double negative for you. <laughs> also, to us, yes, it would be nice if we had more subscribers because it would bring us in a bit more income. And But, to be honest with you, if we have 9,000 amazing subscribers that are following this journey all the time, that's better than having a million subscribers that don't actually really care what you're doing. Is it not? We love our subscribers, those that have been with us from the beginning and joined us since, and but follow our journey wholeheartedly. And, um, you know, the whole idea of this channel is to give you a bit of fun and laughter, some education and experience and a bit of entertainment. And if it doesn't do that, then I'm sorry it doesn't do that for you. But there are other channels, as Ted always says. Jog on. So that's probably another reason also why our subscriber count is low. Because we don't mind saying it as it is and calling people out. And, you know, as we said before, we're not going to change for that. I'm not going to stand here and be nice to people that I don't think deserve to be nice to um, and change the people we are just to make our subscriber count go up. It needs to be real for us, otherwise there's no point in us doing this, this uh, vlog, this channel. You know, if, if we feel that you want us to change, then we will stop the channel altogether because there is no point for me and Ted to do that. We just won't do that.
So, after a week of re ranking, I have now finished all of my mortaring on the walls. Good, isn't it? It looks absolutely lovely. It's really, really nice. And we're going on leaps and bounds. We are. So a bit more digging out, a bit more dirt to move. But everything apart from that is good. So next week, I'm off to work somewhere else for the week, which will give us the materials to be able to start getting the floor in, won't it? Yeah, and that'll be great. Get the floor in, and we're off to a massive start. Yeah, cool. And we can build up from there. <laughs> so, hope I didn't bore you too much with me ranting, and um, just like to say thank you to all of you that do comment lovely each week and do subscribe. And, uh, and if you're and not a subscriber, press the button. Let me just say as well, as Lisa said on the thing, we don't mind the criticism as long as it's constructive. Think about it. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. See you later. We'd like to say a big thank you this week to all the people who've donated to the Buy a Tile campaign. So we'd like to thank all of our patrons, but a special thanks to Martin and Doreen, Carrie, Monique, Alison, Katrina, Richard and Debbie, Seren and Vida, Kimberly, Julie, Julie, Graham, Paul, Kelly, and Sandy. Thank you all so much. Thanks so much for what you do for us. Cheers. See you next Bye. week.